This is a day in the life on a UK adult psychiatric ward. So I was actually broken up about 6.30 by a patient screaming, but I decided to get out of bed about 8, made myself a cup of tea and then had morning meds. I then needed to tidy my room because it was a state. Oh, look at that, so pristine. Then I got dressed and ready for the day. I didn't bother doing my hair because I'm on a psych ward, no one's gonna see me. I get asked this question a lot, is how you do your washing on the ward? Literally the way you do washing in the community. We have a we have a washer and a tumble dryer. Then I did some painting, then I had my physical ops done, and then I did some diamond art whilst I was watching Top Boy. Then I had my BMs done, always fun. And then a package arrived, presents from Amazon from my friend and oh my god it was like Christmas, it was amazing, she bought me stuff off my wish list. I put my washing out to dry because the dryer's f***ed. Sat outside, had my bloods done, had ward round and then my parents came to visit. Okay, I'm gonna answer this question because I get asked this question at least three times a day. So this is my bedroom currently. And everyone asks me, why is your bed on the floor? Well, there are several reasons. Kat shares open and honest videos about what her life is like, living on an adult acute psychiatric ward. Number one, I don't know really why specifically, but I have a phobia of beds. <laughs> I don't know why, but even when I was not in the psych ward, so like leading up to my admission when I was getting poorly, I was staying with my friends and I had a full double bed set up, my own room, everything. I still fell asleep on the sofa most nights. I think I do just feel a bit safe on the floor. I feel very exposed on the bed and I just prefer it. Also, it means I have a little bedside table, little access to um, there. Yeah, so it's mainly because I feel safer on the floor than on the high up bed, especially when they're doing check. Kat often shares day in the life videos where she talks through what she gets up to each day and answers questions people have about her life on the ward. I actually woke up at about 5.30, it's a very noisy on the ward at the moment, but I got up about 5 to 7. It was so misty, like the whole place just looked so eerie this morning. Then I did some colouring, I did some laundry, and then I painted my nails because they were not looking good. I had a tuna mayo sandwich for dinner, oh no, for lunch, but they call it dinner up here so it's confusing. And then I had a nap and then I had a shower for me all squeaky clean, and then that was dinner. What I call dinner, what they call tea. It's very confusing. Anyway, and then had physical ops done, and we got a cheeky Costa's little treat, but they didn't send a straw, so I had to improvise. Then a HCA put out my hair for me, then I take my night meds, and now I'm just chilling. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Hey guys, so today I had my first home leave in over nine weeks, nearly ten weeks. So we got up, made my bed, this was the fit. I had planned to take a load of washing home and a load of my stuff back because I've been here so long I've acquired quite a lot of stuff and I wanted to take it home to prepare basically so I don't have to take loads when I actually leave. And I got back to my flat and it was tidy and my sister had put all those cute butterflies over the fridge and put out all my cards that I'd got in hospital. And then I dyed my brows because honestly, they needed doing so badly. Then I had some lunch, some pasta and some chocolate fudge cake that my mum made. And then I dyed my hair again, something that just needed doing so badly. I haven't been able to do it whilst I'm in hospital. And I had a bath. Oh my God, this was such a treat. I only had a couple of hours at home. So then I came back to the hospital and this is just me showing you the final hair color. It's dark red and that was my day. Kat also gave us a little update on how she's doing now and when she's going to be discharged. I had ward round on Monday and my discharge plan changed a little bit. So I was supposed to be leaving on next Monday. I am now, that's just being pushed back a week, which I am fine with because my consultant said that next Monday he will make me an informal patient. I've never actually been informal, that means you're not on a section so I can leave when I want to have a bit more freedom and then I should be set for discharge the week after. I'm actually fine with this plan because obviously I do really want to leave but I want it to be like a safe discharge. Guys, 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 not even informal. So I just had water out and he may be informal which means he took me off my section. I'm so happy. Like, I literally just, I can't put it into words. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just literally, I'm so excited. This means I'm gonna have 
lot more freedom. I'm not a section patient anymore. I can meet when I want to. No more 10 minutes every hour. This is like such a big step for me. I haven't been informal in a very long time. I'm just so happy. Even when I came in here, I said that I'd come informally and they still put me on a section. So for me, this is just like such a big step in the right direction. Like, I honestly can't believe it. This, I'm, I'm lost for what this has made my day. We are just buzzing for Kat and so happy for her that she's been made informal. Commenters on the original video were also so supportive with one person saying, well done for getting control back. You'll be an inspiration to those around you. And another person added, congratulations. Seeing you do amazing is so good to see. We wish Kat all the best for the future and really appreciate her sharing her journey with us. As always, thank you so much for watching Ultimate.